love chat ops. I love chat ops almost as much as I love chili dogs. <clears throat> as you can see here, as you can see here, one of our um, uh, engineers also loves chat ops. It's been very transformative in terms of uh, where we've gone. We talked a lot about change agents and transformations yesterday in the open spaces. Uh, I would say you don't have to be a person to be a change agent, and we're going to explore this concept in a couple of ways with uh, onboarding and with uh, friction. Okay, so chat ops. We talk a lot about uh, chat bots, chat clients, etc. Very necessary, but I would also say that collaboration and people is the true power uh, of, of chat ops. Uh, a while ago, we had a team builder at, uh, at Top Golf. We also had a storage migration that was underway. So this engineer decided not to miss out on the team builder, and he built the tooling and telemetry. That way we could all uh, monitor the, uh, the storage migrations. Onboarding, so the key thing here, uh, definitely bringing on new folks to your, your effort. Don't have to be new, uh, new timber, two members. It could be uh, new teams that uh, want to participate with your, your process. Uh, confession, we totally ripped off the Etsy uh, day one deploy uh, idea. So don't tell John Ospaugh, but essentially uh, our last four engineers have all developed and deployed new, uh, new scripts on their first day of, of, uh, of working. Uh, the great thing about that is not only do we reinforce that we're really excited to have them on the team, but we also, um, uh, they're, they're committing uh, from the get-go and uh, they have some great stories for ex-coworkers about the cool stuff that we're doing. Uh, we chose to abstract a lot of the complexity away, so we built a wrapper process to wrap PowerShell scripts. That way we can make it less intimidating for people to uh, get on board. You can eventually build up the coffee scripts when you're, uh, when you're ready for more features. Um, Chat Ops is really a gentle introduction to our stack, so as we're working with uh, new members, we can kind of talk through the concepts around CI, CD, uh, DevOps, other, other ideas, and we can show them how their script is showing up in the uh, production environment. All of us have a ton of friction in our environment, whether it's organizational debt, technical debt, uh, other friction, and I think Chat Ops really helps to uh, identify the sources of that friction that way we can do something about it. Um, as we started to work across silos, we ran into a number of permissions roadblocks, and Chat Ops was great to kind of shine uh, a light on those, that way we could actually do something about it and uh, make our automation run better. Uh, in the early days, our lead engineer would have to run around from desk to desk, uh, debugging PowerShell modules, Ruby gems, et cetera. And uh, the combination of Chat Ops and Artifactory dramatically uh, stabilized our environment, as well as um, helping us gain momentum. Uh, think about Chat Ops as uh, training wheels uh, for your organization. You can actually use it for uh, crawl, walk, run uh, pairing sessions to help uh, members uh, gain intuition for how to, to work in your environment. Uh, one of my very favorite things about uh, Chat Ops is context. You get stimuli, you get uh, discussion, you get action, you get outcome, all tightly coupled, and uh, it's something you can go back and uh, review at a later time, either through retrospectives or other things. Uh, Chat Ops has uh, definitely helped us to uh, work in a more decentralized manner uh, around, the, around the world and also build um, engagement and empowerment in decentralized teams. Uh, chat ops uh, necessarily cuts across your organizational structure, so uh, we've, we've uh, been very happy to see spontaneous collaboration and new patterns of uh, teams working together that wouldn't have worked together uh, otherwise. Uh, as we did chat ops, we wanted to do more chat ops, and that really encouraged us to bring out any scripts that we had laying around and uh, get them into our repo. And uh, every time we check into a repo, the organization automatically gets, uh, gets smarter. Uh, we talked about the GitLab postmortem yesterday and how transparency builds empathy, trust, uh, understanding. Uh, the fact that you're in a shared console, you can keep an eye on one another. You can, uh, you can help each other, you can coach each other, and it, it's, a, it's a great thing. So we talked about day one uh, deploys. We talked about uh, people going outside their comfort zone. We talked about new collaborations. That's only possible because we have guardrails that make it safer to go fast, safer to experiment and innovate. We talked about columns yesterday, so culture, automation, lean metrics, and sharing. I believe that uh, Chat Ops really touches uh, the heart of all of that, and uh, it's been a very useful change agent in our DevOps journey. 
All right, give it up for Scott. Thank you. Next